Hi there. I'm Ken, and like you, I'm a modern astronomer. I do things with a computer and a computerized telescope. So in today's video, we are going to use PixInsight. And we're going to explore how to view and remove all your subs so you can get rid of the ones that did not come out good enough for stacking. So the tool that we're going to use is called Blink. There's a couple of different ways to open it. You can always go to Process Explorer, type in Blink up here, and then it'll show up for me. It's the last one I did, so it's there. It's also under Processes, under Image Inspection. You can click on it that way, or you can go to All Processes and open it this way. Once you have it open, you need to click on this little folder and navigate to the folder where all your subs are. You need to bring them all in. It does not matter if you click on one and press Control A to get them all, or click on this little box up here to select them all. Either way, you select them all, hit open, and it'll start bringing them in. Then once you have all your images, we're going to be able to just run them like a movie and just view them. All right, so there's our first image. See, we're highlighted on that particular one. I'm on five tenths of a second, so it's going to show each image for five tenths of a second. Let's hit play. And you can see movement. You can see the some of the stars elongating. And that, well, that's what we want to get rid of. We just want to pretty much see the entire view the whole time, nothing moving, because that'll give us a better stacking experience. So let's go ahead and pause that. Go back to our first one. And now you can just simply click on the next image. That one's actually a little smaller. Let's go back to this first one and let's get rid of it. All right, so now our first one's now our second one. And that one, see it got elongated there. So let's get rid of it. So you just simply click on this button right here. See, it says close selected images. You click on that one, not this one. If you click on this one, it's going to erase all your images. But we want to get rid of the one image that we don't like. And again, just one at a time. Painstaking, especially when you have a lot of subs, like this time I have 600 subs. But just keep clicking, you just get rid of the ones that you don't want. And then once you get rid of them all, you hit play again and you'll be able to just view them moving around. Of course, I'm not going to make you watch me get rid of 100 images or so. But once you have them and that thing's barely moving or not moving at all is really what you're after. You click on the save button. So with the save button, it allows you to put the images that are in the dialog box here. So in this little dialog box, it allows you to save them in whatever spot you want. So you don't want to save them in the same folder you just took them from because the images that you removed are in that folder as well. So I'm going to go back to my astrophotography folder. We're going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Sombrero and we'll go to it. Now, if I click select folder, it saved one image because I only had one saved. Actually, it didn't even save that image. So what you want to do is select them all. Okay, I did a control A. Now hit save to this folder. And there it is, all of them saving to that folder. Then once you have them in that folder, then you can go to your weighted balance or whoever you want to bring them in batch process, bring them all in, and then stack them that way. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it useful. I have definitely found it useful. It's helped me get less elongated stars when I'm stacking and makes things just a little bit easier to work with. Thanks again. And again, I'm Ken, and just like you, I'm a modern astronomer.